Hello and welcome to another Blu-ray unboxing, uh, this time around, Return of the Killer Tomatoes. Uh, I believe I did an unboxing for Attack. If I didn't, I bought Attack News, so there you go. Uh, but suffice it to say, upon learning, Return had gotten a, a blue release from Old Arrow, and that it had dropped considerably in price with a, a pretty fresh sale, I had to go ahead and pick it up. Uh, early Clooney, brah, early Clooney in a Killer Tomato movie, how can you go wrong? Is that actually... I don't know who the hell the doodle's supposed to illustrate on the front. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, supplemental features. Uh, first, the film, 98 minutes. Uh, it's the mono audio track, uh, blah, 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 blah. When was this blue release? 2016, it looks like it came out, so it's been some time on blue. I just learned of it the other day. Uh, not the most, you know, I don't pay that much of attention, man. I like to just stumble across things, and then, uh, you know, then I, dis I discover them. Uh, let's see, we get a new 2K restoration, uh, blah, 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 blah. This is literally the exact, this is, this is just everything that's listed on here, but they're listing it as special features. Uh, brand new audio commentary with the writer-director, so that is actually a special feature. Hanging with Chad, brand new interview with star Anthony Stark. Image gallery featuring rare behind-the-scenes stills. Original theatrical trailer, TV spot, reversible sleeve, which we gotta go ahead, uh, we gotta go ahead and pop it open and most likely uh, reverse that sleeve. They got the little damn pull tab to make it easier here but oh it is okay it works never mind i was gonna say the shit doesn't work but uh what do you know there it's uh this is still working jesus it's the whole thing Let's unroll it there all righty it is uh it is now opened uh inside the case you get some kind of crappy some kind of crappy Arrow streaming service and then an ad for a movie I don't care about in any way. So let's go ahead and carefully dispose of that. Uh, here you can see the disc with the original artwork, which I'm going to have to go ahead. I'm going to have to go ahead and swap it. I, I don't care. I like the look of the return. Everything else about that I don't like. Uh, so original artwork definitely wins. Let's go ahead and see if I can get this son of a bitch reversed. Oh, there we go. Uh, either way you slice it, I'm not very fond of the way Arrow never shows any images from the goddamn movie on the back. It's always just a text description, which I guess with most of these, uh, you know, fancy boutique releases, uh, you generally know what you're getting before you go in. But when you're a blind buyer like me, man, you know, sometimes an image or two on the back of a case can help sell your movie or... Uh, steer you clear but uh, enough griping about unrelated things there you have it return of the killer tomatoes on blu-ray now in my possession now unboxed and yet now i'm planning a killer tomatoes double feature for the evening take it easy bros